my rockers and welcome to the King Emma Old School Rock and Roll Show. And today I got a special. This was one of them. Excuse me, a real good special today. This year, July 2010, make my 30 years of rocking. And I can't um, talk about the rocking without talking about both of my guitar instructors. More than just friends. First one I'm going to get with is um, James Conway, who also have a show on here on YouTube under the James Conway Project. And the second is Mike Ward, who's an excellent guitarist, left-handed, Hendrix clone. So, let's talk about James. Okay, James, um, when I first started playing back in 80, July 80, that's when I met James. And he's a little younger than I, but the guy can jam. And toward the end of this um, part, we're going to be in three parts, so at the end of this part, I'm going to have a video of James participating in the um, guitar contest at the Ritz and Roseville in 1991. Then I got Mike Ward doing some Steve Vai soloing in his home somewhere in Texas. But um, back to James. James um, was like one of the first instructors I had. You, you know, y'all probably heard me talk about Mike Cross from Sponge. But um, before Mike Cross was fun, before I, cause I had to pay lessons, uh, Mike Cross was fun. Well, he was a guitar instructor at one of the music stores. But with James, me and James, we sort of like grew up together because I met him from another guy by the name of James. So um, when I first met James, he's a young dude back in the back playing a Les Paul, doing the Sabbath and Deep Purple. And um, he was like, you know, but he, he knew his shit when I was just beginning trying to get mine together. So, um, James used to teach me, you know, a whole lot of chords and stuff like that. And so, um, talking about James, one of the first songs James taught me was Black Sabbath, the Electric Funeral, you know. <laughs> James started practicing on a lot of Rush, and um, I remember I had the 2112, no, I had the Auto Brothers stage, James had the 2112, and I let James borrow that um, um, Auto Brothers stage album, and shoot, less than a month, I come over to his house, and this dude playing all of them, man, Lakeside Park, um, What You Doing, because that's where he used to teach me that one. Um, <laughs> Sixteen or seventeen at the time, and then he goes off into um, the um, 2112, the um, all four parts and stuff, the overture, uh, the temples and solo quiet, all that stuff. I mean, then as he progressed, then the guy started getting into priests, and um, I remember this plain as day coming over to his house, and um, he had this weird looking eight track, and. Uh, he used to help me uh, to thinking, you know, I like an echo. Now, I was, wasn't too familiar with guitar effects, you know, other than the uh, MXR flanger and um, what was the other one I liked it? The Big Muff and, you know, those ones. So James had this real-to-real -real tape, and he turned the thing on, and somehow the tape went the opposite way. And that beginning of center, <laughs> James had me cracking up. I mean, he played that introduction to center with the echo and everything, and it was just like just precise. Then the guy just got off until, like I say, a whole lot of that really advanced stuff um, later on. So, James is hot. So, um, James, 30 years, rock and roll, brother. And now, Mike Ward. Mike Ward, I don't even know how to describe this guy. My friend Mike lived down the street from me. Uh, me and Mike went to school together back in 72, 73, around that time. And um, when I went to high school, 
Mike was in middle school. I didn't know Mike played guitar. And um, when I, you know, bought my guitar, a few people were telling me, man, you got to check Mike out, man, because Mike, he played bass. So I went to see Mike, and Mike, sure enough, played bass, but Mike played guitar, too. And uh, Mike was um, playing the guitar, and Mike left-handed. And, um, you know, he was teaching me some little note-for-note, you know, stuff, and it was pretty cool. But Mike was real good at the bass. But then later on, Mike wanted to play the guitar, so Mike started playing guitar. So, um, you know, Mike would come by, and um, he listened to, like, the rock on the radio that you hear, like, at the time, who was popular? Steve Miller Band, maybe The Kiss, um, Bob Wells, you know, your top 40 rock, but the stuff I was into, like, REO, Journey, um, Kansas, Sticks, Boston, he, would, he heard, knew the names but didn't know the song. So um, Mike started coming down to the house, and um, I let him listen to some of my Boston and Sticks and uh, Mario, and um, you know we both liked the Gary and um, you know Zeppelin, and um, Mike, you know was listening to it, and I guess you know Mike he one of them guys he got one of them tape players in his head, he remembered the song from listening on my um, record player, then he called me on the phone and say, hey check this out man. And this dude playing Boston and, you know, the little licks and stuff. I'm like, damn, man, that's cool. So, um, but later on, me and, um, uh, the drummer, Carl, that's my other boy. I'm going to talk about him probably on the fourth installment. But, um, me and him went to see Van Halen that summer, uh, uh 81. And when we saw Van Halen, we was, like, here, like, in Tier C. Van Halen and them was, like, way down there. And, um... When Van Halen was doing the eruption, we weren't too familiar with the term tapping. We just knew he was just wasn't picking. And so, um, you know, the concert was tight. So we came back and told Mike that we seen Van Halen. And uh, we said, we don't know what he was doing, but on that eruption, he was going something like that on the neck of the guitar. Now, quote, Mike never seen Van Halen. He just heard of Van Halen from listening to him on the records with me. So, um, Mike, um, you know was listening to what we were saying with Van Halen tapping on the neck. This dude, I don't know, Mike called back again. He said he wanted to come by. So Mike came by, me and Carl, we was together, and he said, um, y'all talking about Van Halen tapping, was he doing something like this? Mike played that eruption. Oh man, he just like just floored us. And he just, oh, 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 oh. he looked like a Van Halen did the tapping. And then from that day, to the present, Mike just got bad. And so, like I say, there's 30 years of rocking, 30 years of playing guitar. I ain't gonna talk too much because I can talk about these guys all night long. But instead of talking, I'll let you guys be the judge. I got two videos, uh, one from James Conway. Like I said, you can see more James Conway YouTube here on the um, James Conway project. Or either go for, um, I think it's 313. Throne, Throne 313, or either James Conway Project, you can see more of James Conway's video. Mike Ward, he, to post some more videos, but right now I got one of Mike, and that's one that um, I got from him off of his um, MySpace. So um, sit back, enjoy the two, um, my two guitar instructors, and um, 30 years of rock and roll. And for everybody out there that got a best friend that play guitar or something like that, Get together and keep on practicing, no matter how good you get, because friends is friends for life. Okay, King Emerald signing out. Peace.